In this next tutorial, I just want to go over adding center lines, hidden lines, and removing what are called tangent edges. I'll start with the tangent, uh, well, I'll start with the hidden. As we have done this before, I'm going to right click, choose show hidden. I want to point out here that you don't see the hole through, and on this one, you don't see it. So we add our hidden, you can see hidden's form here for that hole through, hole, 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 so on. And so I add my hidden lines. Now, you can see there's a line right here. This is referred to as a tangent edge. It forms where your tangency forms, where one flat edge and this arc become tangent with one another. Well, that doesn't work on an orthographic. So if you see this line here, and there shouldn't be, you want to remove it. So you right click on the view, tangent edge, choose tangent edge hidden. You'll notice it goes away. There's no other tangencies that form on this, so I don't need any more. So you want to go around your views, and to be honest with you, I think the best thing to do on all, if there's an arc or a circle or any tangency, just right click, tangent edge, tangent edge hidden, just like you did with your hidden lines. You just added another step. After you do your tangencies, the next thing I would want to do is add my center lines and hidden lines. Center marks form at each circle in the way you do it choose two point center line and you snap from the top quadrant of the circle to the bottom and I'm still in the tool so I left click now quadrant to quadrant press escape you're gonna see it creates that little crosshair so whenever you have a circle you want to use two point center lines so what I would recommend doing is going through all of your drawings and if you see a circle you're gonna go from the let me step back on this one the two point center line and you snap from the 90 degree quadrant to the 270 and then your 0 to 180 or 180 to 0 creating that crosshair <coughs> but you still need to show what are now called center lines for these holes through and what I like to do is choose edge to edge center line and I know that this right here, the, there's hidden lines. These hidden lines represent that hole. These hidden lines here represent the same hole. The hidden lines here and here represent this hole. Going back, choosing my edge to edge center line, and you left click the two hidden lines, and it drops a center line in between. And you stay in this tool, just like all others, until you press escape. So I'm just left clicking all the way around. Other things that I need to do to dimension, if I just choose standard dimension, I click on the arc, I'll put that in place. So now I know that's a radius of two. I don't need a depth because that radius equals my depth. I need the size of the circle. I need the size of this hole. And I need some height measurements. So this is the height of one. This one's the height of three. Those should line up. I have my depth. I have my height. I'm missing that. So in this video, again, I covered adding center lines and center marks, two points, edge to edge. I discussed hidden lines, and I also talked about removing your tangent edges.